Good morning. Good morning. What's up, Rainstorm? I love you guys. Uh, thank you so much for jumping in on the video today. It's not going to be a long one, honestly. It's going to be really short, but it's going to be important. So hopefully you watch all of it because what I'm talking about here is something that is near and dear to my heart. And it's also, I think, going to maybe help you in your life. I'm uh, sitting here about to cast the Apex Legends Summer Circuit Playoff Finals. And there's about $338,000 of prize pool uh, that's going to be handed out. It's a half a million dollar circuit. Um, and it's all culminating today. And guess what? Uh, I know a couple of YouTubers have said this. I I'm casting it. So you know that's what I do, guys. And it kind of leads me to the conversation here. One, uh, that this is a sponsored video by EA that wanted me to share that info with you. As if you guys don't already know that I'm a caster for you know esports professionally. Uh, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about how to take care of myself and why I've been gone over the past little week and a half, why I haven't done too many videos uh, over this month. Um, I had a new opportunity. I had a new opportunity to show up, and uh, needless to say, it's been great. I mean, yesterday, um, because of this, I've been doing a thing called Vin.TV. Um, it's a great show. It's a variety show. Um, yesterday, I interviewed John David Washington, the star of Tenet, the Christopher Nolan film. Um, we've talked to some great people, and uh, I, I honestly have felt that this has been a great step for me just to expand myself uh, outside of YouTube, but also um, just to add to the repertoire of me as a human. Um, but I also realize how much of a toll that's added because I live in San Diego, and I drive up uh, to LA every week to do this. So, you know, having a relationship and honoring that... Um, and, and also having business and honoring that and then having YouTube and honoring you guys and wanting to be with you all the time. Um, and then having esports that I'm pat casting professionally and then being signed to Gen G and having those responsibilities uh, and then trying to stay fit and stay healthy mentally. Um, you can see where time to take off, time to relax, time to, you know, be yourself or, or just kind of catch a breath is, is fleeting. Um, and I think in COVID, I realized that uh, I just haven't taken enough breaks um, to really stop. Because every time you guys think I'm gone on the channel, it's not really a break. I'm, I'm doing a, a show, or I'm doing an event, or I'm driving back and forth, or I'm doing all these other things outside of YouTube. And um, it's really piled up um, to the point where uh, I am going to be taking a break for this next week. After I do these two days of the summer circuit, I'm going to be heading out to, uh, to, to a nice little week off vacation uh, in honor of my birthday, which is on September 18th. Uh, so we're going to be doing some camping, having some fun, uh, kind of hanging with family and people close to me. Um, but it has been a really important thing in my life taking breaks. And I know uh, I watched Staycation's video talking about how um, he had been putting out all this different content. He learned about it, but it's a lot. It's a lot of content. Um, and when you have that much content coming out and you put that much strain on yourself, eventually it goes somewhere. You know, for me, here's my perspective on the channel, and maybe you guys can have this perspective because I've always had this on life. Um, I could do something, man. I'm going to get there, but I don't need to rush to get there and do practices that get me there that aren't sustainable when I get there. If, if you're going to try to climb Everest at 100 miles an hour, you're never going to climb it because you can't do that at the top when the elevation is so high, you need to stop every 10 seconds just to breathe where you need oxygen tanks just to climb the last 10 or uh, 20, 15 meters. So you're literally not going to be able to do that. So you're not training a skill that's going to be applicable. And you're not understanding what it's going to be like. So it's going to be a whole new learning process while you're up there. And uh, it might knock you down a few pegs. So for me, I've, I've tried to take it slow and steady and focus on taking care of myself while also doing stuff for you guys. So um, what I can do better, though, and what I want to do better is let you guys know when I'm going on breaks, when I'm taking these busy runs, so you guys don't think I'm abandoning the channel or think I'm gone or whatever. I know you all like to see me when I'm back on these videos, but I feel a little pain in my heart like they don't know that I'm not coming back for a week, and I want to let them know. Um, so I, that's, one, that's one big thing. And I thought I'd give you guys three things that maybe to reflect on or maybe to use to help um, in terms of your mental in your emotional state throughout, um, you know, throughout the course of these next few days or weeks, um, especially during COVID, because it's not been easy for all of us. Um, one thing is just focus on the stuff that you can control. Uh, there's a lot of times in YouTube that I get upset or in, in life, I get upset about stuff that is not to do with me, but stuff that I'd like to be a part of me. Like, you know, I love hundreds of thousands of people to watch every video that I do, but that's, it doesn't really have, I can't control whether they do. All I can control is, is making the best video that I can.
And a lot of times when I'm upset, I look at the video I made, I go, you know, that could have been better. Um, trying to rechannel that to stuff that you can control really can help keep the the focus and the locus of control inside of you versus externally where um, it's really impossible to have any impact. You kind of lose your power if it's all external. That means the world can decide it for you. And the world has decided a lot for us this year. So hopefully we can start reframing that in our minds so that we can start looking at what we can control and focusing more on that. All right, guys, that's all I wanted to say. Thank you so much for listening, and I hope I check you out on Play Apex Compete or any of the Play Apex live streams today and tomorrow for those games. Take care. Take care of yourself, and as always, never give up, never stop gaming. I'll see you all next time.